Hi, this is Chippy from umbcportal.com with the Arcos 5 internet media tablet running Android as you can see and uh, many of you have been asking about um, ebook reading on this device so I've got a couple of apps I want to show you of course it's extremely difficult to show this this sort of stuff on a video um, reflections will get in the way and the quality of video quality of the video won't help but hopefully I can at least show you the kind of the usage scenario and the features of the uh, the ebook readers. So these two applications are available in the apps lib. So they're working out of the box or out of the app lips apps lib box on the Arcos Five. So let's try this first one, Aldico, uh, which is an EPUB ebook reader, EPUB format. Um, Auto rotate works on this one. So I'll try and hold the device so that you can see it. Uh, you've got the ability to look at your own bookshelf, recently read books, and also to download books as well. But let's go straight into a book uh, that I've been reading. And there's a couple of nice little features. Just dismiss this info pane here. A couple of nice little features I want to show you. Uh, the first is that down the left-hand side is a kind of an invisible uh, bar that allows you to adjust the brightness. And you can see that despite the auto brightness control on my camera you can see that I can adjust the brightness there you've also got swipe to um, do a page turn and within a chapter each page moves quite smoothly so it's quite easy to read uh, you can also just tap the bottom right of the screen there chapter changes slightly different. You've also got the ability to do bookmarks. In fact, many of you watching this will probably know more about Aldico than I do. I'm not a big ebook reader, uh, but I have been testing it out uh, with this. Uh, let's have a look at some of the settings. You've, you've got the night theme, which turns it on white on black, which is quite nice for this video, actually. But um, and also good if you're reading a book with your wife in bed beside you because the brightness on this is pretty pretty high. Uh, go back to the settings, I'll leave it in the night theme. Um, let's have a look at the fonts, you're able to choose your font, the font size and the font weight. Now I'm using a bold 16 point font here, uh, but you can go up, let's, let's uh, put a 20 point font there so that you can see how that is. So getting to pretty easy to read font sizes there, and that's actually a pretty comfortable font size actually. Quality of the fonts is really nice because this is an 800 by 480 screen, and uh, you get some really nice smooth font and uh, anti-aliasing on this. Back to the settings, oh sorry, that was the bookmarks, let's just go back to the settings, settings there. Sorry settings there we go uh, you also can um, choose your navigation controls or so you can turn off and on this swipe feature and the brightness feature you can lock the display orientation so that only uh, displays in portrait or landscape mode portrait mode is the best it's really nice and easy to hold as you can see the device is absolutely tiny in fact I'm just going to grab a book here let's just grab a paperback book give you an idea of actually the size of a device compared to a paperback book. It's pretty small compared to a paperback book, but I want to, uh, maybe you could actually see the font size differences there. Of course you can adjust those fonts, but at that font size, it's almost exactly the same as the book. So smaller, and of course you can put more books on this uh, than you would uh, ever read. This is the 32 gig version that I'm using here. Uh, so bookmark features allows you to, of course, set bookmarks. Very, uh, very simple feature, very useful. Uh, and then you've got uh, contents, so you can choose chapters. So let's go back to the books, uh, downloadable books. You've got a number of categories here. You won't be able to see it on the video, but we've got free public domain books, free original books, mass words, movies, great books of the Western world, and high school reading. So let's go to free public domain books. 
and uh, popular books and you'll see all the ones that you usually see in the Gutenberg project so curious case of Benjamin Button let's just download Dracula here show you how easy it is to download that now that uh, gives you a little overview of the uh, book and a download button and that's downloading in the background in fact if I pull down the notification window it can see you can see that it's already downloaded click on that and we are away so um, it's pretty easy to get hold of public domain books through this method so note this is only an EPUB uh, format but it has books moved to EPUB um, non-commercial ones of course that is going to be a more uh, very important uh, reader format I think so that's uh, that's uh, Aldico and uh, let's show you now the um, the other reader which is FB Reader well, the uh, Java version of FB Reader I believe so now I want to show you uh, FB Reader the contrast on this is pretty bad so you might not be able to see what's happening but I'm on the Project Gutenberg website here and uh, I'm going to try download a free file that FB Reader can handle um, let's try I think it can handle the Moby Pocket stuff so it's giving me FB Reader as an option to open the file it's downloading the .mobi file and we should go straight into FB Reader we're in the landscape mode here but if I do that we should he says I was rather expecting that to go into landscape mode but we can check the settings and how can we mm, okay automatic rotation switch that on there we go okay so from what I remember of FB reader you hit the bottom right okay no you just okay I'll <laughs> try and get in so you can see what's going on here so basically swiping up gets you to the next page left and right doesn't work but swiping down does press and hold anything there obviously I haven't used this much before table of contents nothing in there um, again we've got night mode well, it's just easier for you to see actually on the uh, on the video and as with the um, the other program I showed you we've got what else have we got I was looking for font size is there a way to increase font size in the application hmm having a look having a look yeah I'm okay it looks like you can set the styles uh, we can boost the font size there to 20 point yeah there you go so there's FB reader let's go back to the library and you should see in the library the two programs that I've got we've got the FB reader document here and in the library we've also got the the uh, book that I just downloaded uh, bookmarks on this one yeah you can do bookmarks here so add a new bookmark on this book go back go a few pages along go to bookmarks and go back to the bookmark so that's all working quite nicely so as for font quality uh, all I can say is that it's uh, it looks pretty nice to my eyes but there are going to be people watching this video that are uh, far more experienced with things like uh, e-paper um, and long-term ebook reading on a LED backlit screen this is a glossy screen as well so you might want to consider that but what I do like about it is its handheld form factor and it's uh, very long battery life with Wi-Fi off this, sh this should be uh, let's think about it I'm getting about seven hours of Wi-Fi on so well over 10 hours 
maybe 15 hours at a medium to low brightness um, on this which is pretty good plus it's got 32 gig uh, memory and of course all the other features uh, including the media player and the browser and um, if you're like me and into RSS reading the Android RSS reader is also a very good electronic book format as far as I'm concerned so um, this is one one of my most used applications anyway there's a little bit about ebook reading on on the uh, Arcos uh, Android device uh, I'm sure there are people out there that are going to do a better review of that than, than me, but uh, that kind of gets you started anyway with some ideas. This has been uh, Chippy from UMC Portal with the Arcos 5 Android Internet Media Tablet. Thanks for watching.